Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another edition of Miss Universe 2019 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis. And today, we are going to talk about the powerhouse, Miss Universe Venezuela 2019. And since Venezuela belongs to the Americas, here is my most updated ranking for the Americas. This is based on my most recent leaderboard for the Miss Universe 2019 pageant, so if you have not not seen that then you better watch out and I promise you there's going to be a lot of shuffle and you will see that at the end of this video so let's begin Venezuela started competing in 1952 they have already won seven times Maritza Zayalero in 1979, Irene Saez in 1981, Barbara Palacios in 1986, Alicia Machado in 1996, Diana Mendoza in 2008, Stefania Fernandez in 2009, and Gabriela Isler in 2013. Their latest placement was last year with Stephanie Gutierrez who finished as second runner-up. And currently, Venezuela has placed two years consecutively. This year, they just crowned Thalia Olvino. She's 19 years old and she is 6 feet tall. I mean, wow, that's a height, girl. She is currently a student of management and administrative sciences. And she also pulled a back-to-back -back victory for her state, Delta Amacuro. Now for Miss Venezuela, this is the second edition where Osmel Souza, the former national director, is no longer handling the pageant. So we do not know yet how will Venezuela fare in the pageant. The current national director of Miss Venezuela is Miss Universe 2013 Gabriela Isler, along with the two other Miss Venezuelas. The first time that Osmel left Ven Miss Venezuela was in 2018, where the winner was Isabella Rodriguez, but she is going to Miss World. We also do not know how she is being prepared and towards her performance in Miss World pageant. But based on my reviews of Isabella, I think they're handling her very, very well. This time, it is really exciting to me as a pageant follower because I am really curious if they could deliver the same high caliber performance as Osmel Sousa. For this year, Miss Venezuela's, for this year's Miss Venezuela's, there's a lot of heavy favorites that were left behind, like Monagas, Vanessa Coelho, Distrito Capital, Oriana Pablos, and Anzo Ategui, Maria Fernanda Franceschi. So I'm not sure what happened in there, because for Talia, I know her victory is a bit of a surprise, especially to me, because I really didn't notice her that much in the competition. And I have already learned so much about Miss Venezuela. I know some people will still be divided about her victory. Others are disappointed. Others are just okay, while others would feel that she is a downgrade from Stephanie Gutierrez. And I have to admit that even I have the same feeling. However, if I recall, I also have the same thoughts for Stephanie when she won, but look at how amazing she transformed. I will not be putting her in a very high spot for now, but I am very open to the fact that she is going to improve and transform tremendously. After all, this is Venezuela we are talking about. For Talia's beauty, I think she's beautiful and could be transformable, but I am not wowed as of the moment. During the swimsuit round, I'm not a huge fan of the swimsuit design, but that walk, I mean, that walk was really, really strong. Loved all those hips swaying that she did. Aside from that, her body looked very, very beautiful, especially the final pose, because that shot was amazing, because it emphasized how amazing her figure is. For the evening gown, I am not really a huge fan of the very, very slow walk, and not a huge fan of her gown too, but face-wise, she looked great. I would love also to hear some feedbacks on how she did during the final question because I did not understand a word. However, I loved her speaking voice. I really loved it. Plus, she sounded very, very confident and very, very sure with her answer. It is just based on my own perception, based on that delivery. Of course, content-wise, I have no idea. So for those who understand her answer, 
please be a darling and please share it on the comment section below. For her profile, I don't know much about it yet because she is still a student so I'm not sure if she has done much profile wise. Overall assessment, I think with how Venezuela transformed their delegates, I think she has the potentials to do well. As of this time, I don't see her achieving as high as Stephanie or as high as Casey in the top five. But I have a feeling that a placement is still very, very possible. So having said that, here is the most updated ranking. This is a really crazy ranking for the Americas. My number 10 is Bolivia, number 9 is El Salvador, number 8 is Haiti, number 7 is USA, number 6 is Mexico, number 5 is Panama, 4 is Venezuela, I'll just put her at number 4 as of the moment. My number 3 is Colombia, 2 is Puerto Rico, and my number 1 still for the Americas is Brazil, Julia Horta. So if you wanted to see my reviews of the other contestants and you wanted to see my reviews of the contestants from other regions, you can just go ahead and check on my channel or I have also created a personal playlist where you can see all of my reviews of the Miss Universe 2019 contestants. So what do you think? Don't forget to leave your, com your comments and thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.